Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Chicago Joe, twenty-eight, and I'm doing like a uh, guess, sort of like a layout update for just my future plans. So uh, let's get started, guys. <laughs> all right. So first of all, I bought this a uh, cheap switch. It's uh, in here. I set it up already. But the guy put my trip me off. It was like here. It was like ten bucks. And he's like, oh no, there's ticks. He pretty much ripped me off on that. I'll tell you guys later about that. And uh, for ten bucks, I bought these two. Uh, I guess uh, I don't know what they're called, but this is a EG and E uh, instructions guide. Uh, I wanted one for like buy like Eol and stuff, but this one it was it's the uh, Gary and uh, South Chicago. It's pretty cool. It's, it's like pretty much like. Uh, uh, pretty much like a, uh, I don't know, like a, a uh, employee manual. And then I bought this, uh, it came with the thing, uh, Indiana Harbor Belt timetable from like April tw 29th, 1973. And then, uh, with the switch, I pretty much, pretty much here, set up right here. Zoom out for you guys, but this is pretty much what it looks like now because I set up that whole track right there. And uh, this is pretty much how I got. I mean, like, you can tell there's nothing. I don't know. I guess it was, I don't know what I was thinking. It was 10 bucks. Yeah, uh, like, that's all it is to switch. So you have to do it, like, you know, with your hand and stuff. It didn't come with one of these, and then it didn't even come with the other second track, like, there to there. Like, you need a track from there to there. So I had to make it like you guys can tell. This one's straight. This one's curved though. Yes. Most you people can probably tell. So I just got probably ended up probably for like five bucks, which will probably be more expensive than a normal switch, so just got chewed on that deal. And then I also bought these are my best finds of the day. <laughs> um I bought this at Burlington, just Burlington route, Burlington, whatever, CB&Q, boxcar, the door's, the door slide, it came kind of, I don't know what it's, crappy weathering, and then I also purchased this, and well, that was for four bucks, so, you can't beat a deal on it, keep the good colors, you can't beat it, although the wheels are kind of crappy, anyways, and then I bought this Southern Pacific, uh, gondola, you can like open or close gondola. And uh, it, I got so because it first of all it matches my Pennsylvania gondola, and like you know, put more tack in it, collect more, put them in because might as well. And then, so that's what my switch looks like so far, and uh, I'd probably future. Like by you know something I can go here, and uh, you know more straight. So that was just off on the uh, Great Midwest Train Show, and that was pretty cool. If you guys live in Illinois or anywhere near DuPage County, you should uh, check it out. It's pretty cool. And that's pretty much all I have to say. I mean, oh, that was a uh, five bucks. So. Nine dollars for two pretty good cars. I'll bet cute bad couplers that right here. So I had to switch them out. And it actually broke two pieces off, but you know, the generic kit set from Athens. Oh no, I should set those guys up. So I'd probably like to leave, you know, like put like a my town right in this area right there. Like a park by the train tracks, then probably like, like, put another switch, maybe hopefully right there. And if not, oh well. And then like put like a building right here for like the workers and stuff. So yeah, it's gonna turn up pretty. Oh, and also I finished the crackle paint. You guys, you guys can see that pretty good. It's like crackle paint. Look at. So that's pretty much about it. If you guys have any questions, just ask, and I'll answer for sure and uh alrighty good day